so long time no see i know i haven't been here in so long um i was planning to upload many videos but uh i was just so busy i couldn't get i couldn't get any filming done so yeah but i'm back and it's a very fun video because it's a japan haul and i'm so excited i don't know how to do this so i'm just gonna dump everything i kind of like categorize them by shops so um so everything i got from the shop and the shop so it's just gonna be like that um and just ask if you have any questions where or like clarifications just let me know so let's start with the first shop um which is also where i shop the most you already guessed it it's so predictable it's all the travelers factory shops so i visited three um inside tokyo there are two branches which is tokyo station and then the nakamaguro station um, I was planning to visit Narita, the Narita station, but it's still closed. I think it's been like temporarily closed because of COVID or something, or within that time period. But they're opening this year in 2023 again, so that's actually nice because I've been dying to see that that branch. So the Kyoto shop was actually my favorite. It's just so nice. I spent so much money there. <laughs> I was like, I didn't want to leave. I could have stayed there all day, but yeah. Um, in Kyoto, I mentioned that I spent the most time there and it was my favorite so i got this this is the the kyoto travelers factory kyoto special i actually i actually was planning to buy this online so i i'm so happy i waited so it's cute and i also bought this separate kyoto charm so yeah it's like this and then i had to do the kyoto stamping <laughs> there's a so a lot of like stamps there as you know in every traveling shop so yeah this is the Kyoto one I also got um these are all the inserts some of the inserts that I got so like this is called house your style paper so this is also from Kyoto this is one of their special ones and then this one is green tea leaf paper also from kyoto um kyoto is known for matcha or green tea so i guess it just makes sense that they have this this is so pretty and then this one is from i think tokyo station yeah it's called the stamp note yeah and then i got another extra of the i actually got extra of the kyoto special ones because i really like these and i guess it's gonna be hard to find in europe or it's gonna be do double the price so i just got them and then i got oh i also got this blank insert when i was there i just i always find myself bu buying an ins a blank insert in the spot to be able to stamp them so yeah i just I stamped this. I think I bought this in the Kamiguro Manage and I stamped it there. And then, yeah, another one of the Tokyo Tokyo Station special. So, yeah, these are inserts and a pen. Next up is this. I actually got this in the Kyoto Station, which is the, I don't know how to say the brand, Toyo, Toyo, to Toyo, Toolbox. So, I always see this online and I always see it in different colors, the green, the red, but I saw this and it inside the Kyoto station and it actually has a traveler toolbox, traveler's company name. I think it's this color is kind of just like um stainless, stainless steel kind of neutral color. It's so nice and it's it actually wasn't it as actually not expensive, so yeah so let's see i filled this up with things i got from mostly from kyoto as well so this one is the tokyo bike pen that i got in the kamiguro tokyo station yeah i just i just like these small pens even though i don't really use them these pen, the, these travelers don't look pens okay i can't open it but yeah i just wanted to find them it's so cute right so this is tokyo bike it's just black and well, I like that. And then in, in Kyoto, I actually got all of these. I actually got, I don't know, how, I'm not sure how many. One, two, three, four, five. 
yeah so five pens um in kyoto these are all customized so when you visit the kyoto, uh, kyoto station just grab any pen and tell the tell the very friendly staff there that you want them customized and then uh, a girl a super nice girl went was with me and she was writing down everything that i want so um like this one has my name and my and an airplane it's cute i like orange and then so this is kind of like a kyoto dedication because it was in kyoto station it's blue it's called high kyoto with a train because yeah just a homage to the shinkansen oh this is so cute this this is like pink um and i i wrote their japan 2022 with the suitcase yeah and then this is green this is a very beautiful olive green one it's had i wrote their journal with the traveler's notebook icon and it's yeah i love this green and gold it's really like the best combination and then the last one is this it's just black so i just wrote travelers so kind of like the traveler's company thing because this is one of the samples one and it's so nice so i just did it yeah so there you go um i think it took me i think every pen would take 15 to 20 minutes so but if you're interested in getting this just enter the store grab them already tell the the per the staff what that you want them customized so they'll do it and while they're doing it you're gonna be shopping around so knowing knowing all of us there's gonna be a lot of time because yeah it was just like it was just like i could spend days there you know and then let's see what else is inside oh these are like oh this is the one of these charms and then these are like super cute cards that i got so like they're cheap so and then one of them is like when you open it there's like three different types which is nice these are nice to put in your journal or to give to friends yeah so i got all of the designs oh this is so cute like see and it's like an envelope on the other side these are really nice actually i wish i, wish I bought more of this i oh you know and then these are the other designs boarding pass and this this is cute oh wow so yeah you can see this is more of a different theme I, i'm just i'm a sucker for anything airplane boarding pass just that idea of um traveling and airplane <laughs> i really like that so and the last one here is yeah oh this is cute so airplane train and this it's like a collage of travel collage yeah so these are cute and affordable i think one of these is like um i don't know <laughs> 100 something yen so that's not so bad um and then what else is in here um it's not for this <laughs> i just got i also got this cable belt in the camel it's just cute so yeah it's nice i also got this keychain with a bear carrying the brown traveler's notebook it's cute i think i also got this in the nakamago station yeah so it's cute there's the price it's 1760 yen um i'm not too sure how much that is <laughs> so you just convert it yeah so i bought all this and just in, and put them here so yeah this is so cute right um so this is the pan am boarding pass um i don't know what you call this it's just like a folder with um it has these pockets um back and forth so it's nice you can put like cards in there or you can make it like a 
a sticker or ephemera holder you know anything so yeah it's cute and it's a lot um and yeah i really like this white and blue it's very it has a very vintage um feel i really like this yeah and then uh let's look at this so i had to get one of these coaster leather coasters so this is the camel um i've been wanting to get one of these but um I already got them here, so yeah, it's so cute. Yeah. And then uh, um oh I really like this. I actually don't I don't even know how to use this. These are like clip um bookmarker clips, but they're so cute. This one is this this one is like I have to get this It's called Reading as Traveling. Yeah. It is, it's so cute. And there's like a book there. An open book and then the other one this is actually called Japanese literature which is so nice this is the Mount Fuji there so yeah this these are the base it's based from three works which is this the Lama and the spider thread and 100 degrees of Mount Fuji so yeah it's so nice and then in Kyoto, I also got another charm. I think there are two charms. The one that I've been you know, using now in my planner. The one with the some black detail in this. So I got both of them. I also got this airplane. Yeah. You can buy this in many partner shops outside Japan. So yeah, but I just wanted to get it while I was there. And then some of the stickers. This is the Tokyo Station. So cute. And then this is the Pan Am one. Lo don't leave the country without us. This is the Hokutu to Hokutose. I hope I'm saying it right. I also bought the charm. This has a gold um, brass charm again. It's so cute. I'm using it in my planner. Yeah, and I also got this random stickers from, I think, um, Kyoto. Yeah. So they just have those random ephemera and sticker there that's not Traveler's Company. So it's also nice if you're looking for some stuff that's not non TN related. Another one of these Pan Am. And then, oh, Ace Hotel sticker. Um, the Kyoto station is actually beside the Ace Hotel building. So yeah, you can see it there. And then this, I already used it. As you can see, I used it in my travel. I needed it. So yeah. And then I finally got these double-sided stickers. I always thought I'm not really gonna use these things, but when I was there, it was so cheap. Like the price of these traveler's notebook accessories in Japan versus like here in Europe is like very big. It's like double. So even these tiny things, um, you can save a lot of money. That's why I just got <laughs> everything I see. And this is a leather folder. It's so cute. It's it's like undyed, it's like natural, and then Kyoto, and then it's a collaboration, yeah. It's so cute. I don't know, I don't really know what to do with this, so, but it's cute, so yeah, I just got it. Uh, Tokyo bike, um, insert, passport, so this is cute. It has just a small white detail of Tokyo bike there. Okay, next. We're still with Traveler's Company, and Yep, this is the Yuta Shimizu Yusagi charm. It's really nice. I really like. It. I've been seeing this with everyone's uh, journal, and I. It's nice to finally got it. Um, oh, um, this is another insert I got. Um, yeah, it's so cute. I would just randomly grab every insert that I I see there that I don't have. You know, at least one because they're not really expensive and. While you're in Japan, you just have to get everything. <laughs> and I got a lot of these postcards. They do, uh, they do have a lot of these postcards there. And they're so nice. They're really nice. I, I was trying to mail postcards there when I was with my friends. But yeah, I, I hoarded a lot of this one. This is like Japan Travel Guide with Traveler's Factory. 
you fly with them, Travelers Air, and then the, they just made a list of things like Mount Fuji, Sushi, Onsen, Ramen, Temples, Bonsai, Travelers, Jams, Factory Jams. So it's kind of like a, a travel list, uh, a bucket list when you visit Japan. These are the things you have to experience. So yeah, this is a postcard. I bought a lot of these. There's just also this map. This is also cute. Yep, more of this. This is really my favorite. And these are the other designs. Yep, more of these collages. It's so cute. They also have this kind of vintagey one. It's also cute. The Way to Travelers Factory. And yep, this is cute. Hello, I'm a traveler. The world, the world for all travelers to have is free spirit. And have a good day, good music, good coffee, and a good Oh, this is now it's an airplane. This is cute. Oh, this is like one of the vintage one again. The take a rest with travelers. No. Oh, so this is a suitcase with collage and stickers this i think i got more of these cards with the same design somewhere yeah i bought a lot of it <laughs> but these are worth it and cheap so it's the next one is this i also got this camel leather book cover um so this is actually um a6 cover an A6 notebook cover, which I'm gonna. I use a lot of A6 for for my book journals, so I can use this with anything. Yeah. So yeah, see that's the camel design, and there, Traveler's Factory. It's like this, so cute. I just had to get this while I was there. <laughs> yeah. So there's um there's black and dark brown I think the Traveler's Factory color is yeah. okay I already used them but these are these rose stickers limited express um there are two designs this so you just pull it and a sticker will come up this one it's so cute so yeah and these are cute designs you can see the designs inside yeah i really like it i also got this tamps i've been looking for this so when i saw them in the nakamaguro station i had to get them so this is tiny one and um a bit a bit bigger one i love it and i love the phone so yeah Um, so these are some of the the washi tape I've got in all the travelers factory shops um, this one is the it's all it's like black with travelers factory and the logo this one is this it's a it's like a travel tag cute and then this one is can't see it properly so it's just a mix of everything like travelers on but kind of vintagey oh pan am yeah <laughs> and then more pan am i bought two of them i don't know why i think i but yeah, the more the merrier right and then this one is another one of these vintagey different oh these are different places like um istanbul lisbon saigon vintage uh, these are cute they're all in different kind of vintage color and then what is this this is the oh hokutus Ho hokutose train this is cute i have a ch i have a matching sticker and the charm for this and then the next one is a train it's just a Traveler's train in different types. And then this one is, um, I think this is the Tokyo, Tokyo or Japan special, Japan guide, stationary edition. So I guess it's like the, you know, the 
the pretty card this is the version of this this is like the partner version of this in wash like but in more detail because they have soba here kendama castles so yeah this is so nice this is actually a nice um souvenir i think this is yeah, all the tapes i've got from traveler's factory i hope I also got, of course, these um, this envelope bag. This is in green, and then I got the matching small pouch in camel. So cute, and I like the zipper here. This is nice for traveling. Oh yeah, and in and inside, I also bought these special edition um, keychains. So this one, the cutest one is the records because it's in like a small CD, good music, and it's like black. And then train is also cute. Hotel. So yeah, I got all of the designs. Um, during the re the release of this, you can only buy one person can only buy one of each. So you can't just hoard them. I guess you can have you can bring a friend or anyone to buy for you yeah so there's a way to do it if you want to give to friends and then oh uh, yeah I got another one of these um, Yosegi charm which is like the house it's cute and then I also got this eye mask because I just when you're jet when you're there you just want to buy anything everything you see even if you don't need them <laughs> this is one of them but it's cute i think i, I will use this a lot because i've been i've been waiting i've been looking for one um and this is green like super like very nice green and it has the traveler's company and this is the mask it's thick so it's nice it's, it has a very nice texture with the traveler's airline so yeah i like i really like this this is just also a cute gift to anyone who travels a lot and it has it comes in this small pouch and you can just put it in your travel purse yeah it's cute oh and this one was the new year lottery i won this in the new year lottery so i went to the lottery in tokyo station and i bought many things and then when i was there um after you buy i think every 2,000 yen purchase would entail you to a, a lottery ticket. So I think it got like a total of eight or nine tickets and all of them are ticket to win the journal. So eight of them were like, okay, you won. You, I have to sign up and write my name like eight times as a lottery draw to win the journal the, the one with the rabbit and the everything but one of them is this so you can either win a so you join the lottery to win a lottery ticket to the journal or some little goodies like this sticker a stamp so one of them i got lucky with this yeah i don't know how, it's my first time to to see the lottery so i don't know how it was before if but someone told me that you can win a journal on the spot so that this system now we're in lottery to join another lottery to win the journal is new so i'm not sure if anyone can tell me how it was yeah and then mm, i also got this pan um tote I actually bought this because I needed something to carry my shopping and so I folded this in my purse and this became my shopping tote when I was in Japan which is cute because it's a pan M1 and then <laughs> this is the most unrelated purchase so I this is the um, filter coffee filter set from Melita so I actually got this because um, I wanted to get uh, the coaster oh it's in my other bag I can't find it but I, I got this free coffee coaster from Tokyo Station and you can only get it if you buy any coffee items or products so my choices were either buy coffee beans or this I, I, I don't really like my beans stale or that old so I 
we settled for this. You know. So we drank coffee filtered anyway. So this was perfect for us to try. Yeah. Okay, the next one is probably my favorite discovery in Japan, which are the local post offices. So, actually, this one was um, I, I got this tip from you know her rainbow holic Kyla, um, another uh. Uh, another blogger, she's also Filipina, she lives in Japan and she has a lot of tips about Japan and stationery and one of her tips is to visit all these um, all of these wait a minute, post offices so the first one I visited was actually um, in Kyoto it's the Kyoto Gion Station which is a small, a super cute small building that is straight out of like it's like a Wes Anderson film. So it's tiny and when you're there the, the staff are so friendly. I bought many things there. Um like this is their special washi tape. So this is Kyoto. And then this is the sticker. And another thing. Um Okay, and they're all just mixed up from different stations, so I'll just I'll just show you everything. Um, this is the Tokyo version of the washi tape, the post office. I got this from Tokyo Central Station in Maranuchi, which is my favorite area in Tokyo in terms of shopping. So yeah, as you can see, yeah. This is Kyoto and Tokyo. And then in Tokyo Station, I also, Tokyo Post Office. Um, I don't want to clarify that. This is Post Office, not Station. So this is also a Tokyo one, Post Office one. And then the Tokyo Post Office sticker. This is the Kyoto and Tokyo version. Um, so the this is so nice because um the tokyo post office is in the marnucci building or area which is beside the tokyo station so if you're gonna go to travelers factory tokyo you can do this in one day like visit traveler fact travelers factory shop there and just get out and then walk a bit and beside and the left side is this mall called Kite Mall, K I T T E. It's so nice. That mall is amazing. It's tiny and it's nice. And in the in the ground floor, you have the post office and the a tourism office. So in the post office, you can buy a lot of limited edition stationery, like all these washi and stickers and all the cards. And then beside it, down just just go further down. It's the Tokyo Central Post Office, a uh, tourism center where you can ask them about anything. You can get maps and all the ephemeras you can get. They also have a special Tokyo stamp. So yeah, that's already a trip. And then also in, the, in that mall, there are different shops that you can find. Um, like the Good Dis Japan Good Design Award, another stationery shop. So yeah, it's a very good it's a very good one day itinerary if you're just there for shopping. And one of the things I got was this. I just I just like it. It's red, and it has these cards and a special um, stamp, postal stamp. So this is Tokyo Station Marunouchi Building. Yeah. Um, aside from that is I also got this set of Tokyo Station Marunouchi building from the this is all again from the post office look at this they're so cute there are so many stamps there I just I just had to pick or I'll end up buying everything um, so this is all the 
it's so nice i think this they have like they look like um the colors are so vibrant they're kind of like west anderson-ish and then yeah there's these cards and then i bought a lot of postcards so i think the star of the post offices are postcards so these are all from different um stations like this they have this like super cute designs and this and then they have a lot of also this new year's kind of design mount fuji stuff yeah so i know i got this in the tokyo post office because you can see it's special tokyo station again and then they also have this these like so cute these are the best postcards and then this so the next category is like everything i got from random shops so this is not just one shop so you know in japan you have like the big kind of department store for of stationery like the most popular ones are loft and tokyo hands which you can have you can find in shibuya and like Shinjuku and other branches so so these are just the random things I got like this is an ink collection card I got this in Marizen Mo which is my favorite again I told you my favorite area was Maranuchi area beside Tokyo Station the Kita Mall and the Tokyo Post Office so with that area on the left is actually Marizen which is a mall and it has a six, six, I don't know if it's six floor or seven floor bookshop. And when you go to the fourth floor, it's all stationery and fountain pens. And it was my favorite because they were like doing like this new year pop up. So there's so many different designer brands, like local designers. And yeah, I got this in collection card. And then I also got this Sailor Hokoru dip pen for for swatching inks i wish i got more of this but i was in a hurry so i just grabbed one um i also got this in the in the marinucci in the marazan mall so this is for swatching ink it's an ink stamp another stamp i got was this small tiny postal mailbox i just i just fell in love with anything red mailbox in japan so yeah it's cute and then um this one i got this in loft these are the these stamps you can also find this in many shops online but they're more expensive so i got this two set which is like the writing journaling set and like kind of like a home scheduler kit i wish i actually bought more you know these are so cute mm, i also got these decorage tapes i got the one in that has like all books different and this one is like japanese food sushi yeah Got some sample fairy swirl press inks. The Kokuya Cutter. I've been looking for this, so yeah, when I saw it, I just grabbed it. It's from I don't know the, the brand name. Yeah. But the theme of this is like this is like journal and fountain pen. This one is books, and this one is coffee and journal. So they're so cute. You can see. Yep. So I also got these eraser and then the stamp. I also got this in Marizen Mall. And this coffee themed um washi. I actually didn't buy a lot of stamps. Like now that I'm looking at all my purchases, I realized that I only got these stamps. You know, I was I think when you're when I was there, I was just like, oh I'm buying so many things, random things that I didn't really I can't I couldn't remember my inventory so 
because we were all over the place and we were traveling a lot so i just like i have no recollection of the the things i bought like the totality of everything so i ended up just not buying a lot of stamps so i i actually this one of my regrets like i felt sad i only bought this because i have so many amazing wooden stamps there so yeah lesson learned just buy everything you see <laughs> I also got this tiny Shashi Shashi Hata stamp. I wish I got them in many colors again. I was, you know, it's one of those things where in you bump into a shop and then you're like, it's so big and you're gonna go around. And I'm like, okay, I'm going back to this later. I'm gonna grab more. I just grabbed one for now. I'm gonna go, go back to this later. But you ended up not going back. So when you see something you sh you really like, don't say this is one of my tip in Japan shopping. When you see something you really like, just put them in your cart, grab them, and walk around. And once you're you're about to pay, just look at everything you got, and you can see which one you don't really want to buy, and want to buy. That's a better tactic than oh, I'm just gonna come back and grab this again later because you'll never go back to that area, especially if the shop is so huge, you'll forget about it. You're you're gonna be overwhelmed. You're gonna be focused on something else so yeah i'm just dumping everything <laughs> um so in the myers and mall i also got this this is a, a set of uh, glass pen pen holder ink postcard and instruction it's in blue i'm not a blue person but I wanted a dip I wanted a glass pen and I saw this and why not? So yeah. I also got one of the red black Sarah second. I this is my I, these pens are my favorite pens. Um outside fountain pen. I really love this. I wish I'm gonna collect all of this actually and you can get it there. It's just I've never seen this in a shop here in Europe, so it's just nice to see it there. I wish I grabbed more again. I got this. It's called I don't know ba in me, bain me. So they have it in several colors, like pink. It's like it's just nice um travel kit. Um, and it's transparent, and you can see everything. Like this is the map. So I grabbed this there as my kind of on the go kit for everything. So it has this where you can put some stuff and it has six rings like a bible size so you can put bible size inserts or you can just put this um so they have they have this where you can i put a lot of stickers and some purchases here like i got this card size diary this is so cute it actually won a good design award this is by ray may who makes um those cute Roma leather journals so I'll show you what's inside so it's really card size and it's so cute 2023 card size diary and it's like this it's a whole month there I don't know what to do with this it could be I'm gonna think of something but this could be a, a very cute tracker or anything maybe a finance thing if you purchase something you can like um uh, mark it out i don't know anything it's so cute oh, put this back later yeah and then i also got these stickers from tokyo hands um these are the b-side label you can see this everywhere in tokyo hands and loft so i got this these are so cute this is as you know this is um, the the Dutch painter Vermeer's girl with the pearl earring, but she's the cool version. <laughs> and then this is one of my favorite artworks as well. This is um, Edward Munch the Scream. I, I actually saw this in when I visited Oslo last year. It's so nice. This is a cute Japan one. And then this one is just dive into the city. The girl with a cat yeah and then yeah it's in left and right uh, you can these were these are all the trains train tickets we used so we we bought a 
14 day Shinkansen JR pass for to to access the Shinkansen. I think it was around 300 euro plus each. So for the two of us, me and my partner, we ended up paying like 700 ish for all of this. So it, it's not cheap. It's very expensive, and th that's just the JR pass. So. so if you're going to some places that does not cover the JR line, like when we went to Mount Fuji, Fuji Lakes, one of the trains there didn't was not covered by JR Pass, so we had to pay for another ticket. So, yeah, and then the normal going around the metros are not covered by this. So these are really just like this is Nagano to Kanazawa, um, Matsumoto to Nagano. So yeah, these are all the tickets we got. Um, the bulk of our trip was actually just going inside trains, which I really love because Japan trains are, are just next level. Okay, I live in Europe and the trains here are amazing, especially the Netherlands. It's the, the trains here are rarely late or delayed. They're clean. They're not as crowded as like London or Paris trains. They don't smell bad, you know, as you hear in some cities in Europe, but when you when you just take the Shinkansen, it's just different. The design, even the chairs, the the little detail of the where they put the drinks, it's just better. Yeah, it's so. If you're asking me if it's worth it to get the JR Pass, it's definitely worth it, especially if you're going out of Tokyo a lot. But if you're if you're just gonna stay in Tokyo most of the time and go, only going to like. Osaka for a day or two. I, I think it's not worth it. So for us, we went to different areas. We we did a loop around from Tokyo to Fuji, back to Nagano, to Kanazawa, to the Japan Alps area, and then went down again back to Osaka. So it was super worth it. It's expensive, but worth it. So yeah, I put it all here. This is some of our tickets, again, of the places we've been, like the Nijo Castle and in Kyoto so more of the tickets um, and then here are my other break I also got this kind of like card holder in Tokyo hands it's so cute and it's transparent and it has this I I'm a sucker for anything with a closure like this because it's always just like flat and like open so this is such a cute small card holder this is our ticket to Kimizu. So I just dumped a lot of tickets here. And then two, I got this. I also got this Pilot Juice Pens from Tokyo Hands, which I, I dumped here. And then this is um, the letter press card I got in Tokyo Hands. So yeah, I just put them all here. You can actually put a lot here. Um, so this is a nice... I really like this. Yes, I got this in Tokyo hands. It's a nice travel pack. So I'm planning when I travel next time, I'm gonna put a lot of like ephemera and cards here. And just bring this with my journal. So the next ones are all the stickers I got. So this is just from random shops. Um I mostly mostly Tokyo hands and again loft. Um, yeah, so I got this big sticker. This is rabbit theme stuff. So when we went there, it was like literally in Christmas and New Year's. So a lot of shops are show are showing like a lot of New Year's theme design and rabbit. This one, I really like this. It's like library seal flake. This, this is so cute for journaling. Trans this is the Midori transfer sticker. Oh, so there's just some like maps <laughs> that are in here. Random stuff. So I love these stickers. These are kind of like museum um, artwork. Like this is the Fuji. Last Supper, more of the Vermeer. And then this like Swatelier. I actually wish I bought more of this. This is a Korean brand, I think. So they actually still ha have a lot of this there as well. More stuff I got. This, my diary sticker sheets. These are so cute. I got this in love.
yeah so this is another japan theme i i just like anything japan themed like with the colors and crisp like just the red i really like that so more of the daily those those kind of kits yeah this is nice philippines my country uh And I also got these um, super cute. Um, this is Japanese food, and this is konbini. Um, one of the things that I enjoyed a lot is, of course, konbini food and snacks. Whenever we we have no time to eat, we we'll just grab anything here, and it's already better than most most cities. <laughs> the food in Japan konbini are better in are better in some cities. So these are the stickers I got. It's not a lot. I, again, this is one of those I wish I got. I haven't gotten more because, oh my god, there were a lot of stickers and I wish I've gotten more. But just like the stamps, um, I was just not prepared. The next category are postcards. So I think some of these I got from like Konbini, like 7-Eleven. Like I think this Moomin I got in one of those Konbini shops. So. These are so cute. This is like rabbit theme. So this one, I, I actually got this in the museum. I think in the museum in Kanazawa, the 21st Contemporary Museum. Yeah, it's so cute. So these are envelopes. And then I got this um, small painted cards from, um, from a cafe in a cafe in Kyoto we we went for coffee and there's this man in the door and he was painting these small cards and I got a few of them because they're so cute um and this is supposed to be like seasons uh months like January February March in Japan and you can see that's the small hanko stamp the red seal it's so cute yeah sticker from the museums these are like random free postcards i got from i think i got this in kino these cat ones so cute it's cute for new year's i oh yeah i got this again in the kanazawa museum in the 21st century museum more japan postcards i think i got this again in the kondini Lawson or or 7-Eleven or Family Mart and this one I got this is so cute this is I got this from the Yuriliko shop and this is that's their logo and this is the 15th anniversary Yuriliko and 10th anniversary Oshamitsu studio so this is the bridge when you when you when you visit the Yuriliko shop in Tokyo you're gonna walk near and you'll see this historical bridge it's so pretty this is one of my favorite postcard purchases. This is actually, um, we visited this place called Naraijuku, which is a non, it's a not, it's not very touristy compared to many places in Japan. Um, it's an old, it's an Edo period post town, meaning during the Edo period, it used to be like a town where travelers would stop by to, to rest or eat. So it's kind of like a stopover town. Um, and it's preserved so everything still looks the same it's so pretty so we visited that and um, this this is designed by Kyoko Yanagisawa this is literally just there for Narayuju you can only find this set there like yeah so this is Narayuku. We we were actually this is exactly what the town looks like and with the snow we're walking there and it's so pretty just look at this set this is the bridge there yeah so this is my favorite um postcard set and this was like 400 yen so it's so cheap and you can only we only saw you can only find this there when you visit narajuku it's this thing with japan 
when you visit, you're not really planning to buy anything. And then you visit this museum or shop and everything is so nice. And then there's like just a special, a special design thing that you, you just need to buy them like this. One of the, the places I visited was Yuriliku and shout out to them because when we were there, they were actually closed for New Year's. One of the things things you have to note is Japan, uh, many places in Japan are shops are closed during New Year's because it's a big holiday for them. So Yuriliku was actually closed until mid-January. But I'm, and then I'm, I was messaging them on Instagram, telling them, "Oh, I'm just visiting. Um, I would want to visit their shops and buy some of their items." And they kindly told me they're gonna open and for a few hours on a certain day on a Saturday, and if I would like to come. And I'm like, "Yes!" So I'm really thankful. And I met them, the two designers and the owners. So I got this. I finally got this. You already know this right so this is the pocket pen case and then i also got the bigger one yep. so the the best thing about buying this in japan is it's cheaper compared to if you buy these in shops it's so expensive i guess in europe it's just tax right everything here is just tax and shipment so but even in american shops they're so expensive they're way they put a lot of like markup on top of the the original price but these are not so bad these were affordable in japan and then in the same shop i also got this um ticket folder these were on sale they kind of have a sale uh a sale area and i got this so So this is just a fold, which you can use in your traveler's notebook. And then this, I also got this bookmark kit, Marunouchi. Uh, when I saw Marunouchi, I'm like, yep, it's for me. Um, my favorite, one of my favorite areas, if not my favorite area in Tokyo. I actually want to live there. <laughs> I guess if I want to live in Tokyo, I'm going to live there. Yeah, so, so cute. And then I also got this um, pin here, Liku. So yeah, batch. These are just these are mostly souvenirs. Meaning, when I go to um, a site or a museum, like a castle, you go to the souvenir shop. I'm I'm gonna I'm telling you that, and the target market for museum shops. Every museum I go to, I always would hoard the shops. They always have some cute things. So. Yeah, this is, it's not a lot, but like we went to the Nagano to see the snow monkeys. Oh my God, they were so cute and it was like freezing, but it was so beautiful there. So I got these stickers. And I just bought some random things there like um, this cute clip so cute i'll use this for when i'm journaling and this is a very cute keychain normally i don't really buy like keychains and all these charms but these are actually cute and well made so yeah this is all in wood another one this is so cute And then a lot of pins from different shops. Like, um, I think I just got this in one of the kombini. And this one was in Shiragawa Go. So we visited Shiragawa Go, which is in Gifu Prefecture. It's like fairy tale winter winter wonderland town. It's a UNESCO World Heritage um, place. So yeah, it was one of my favorite. It was one highlights of the trip. So. These, they're known for these gasho style houses which you can see here 
and I still have more I just bought everything and then this is also from Shiragawa Go these are actually the Gasho style houses this is so cute I'm thinking of turning this into like some planner pin or something planner accessory or something it's so cute right and then all the pins so this is from the snow monkey monkey and baby and then this is just pretty mount fuji more fuji i actually got this when we visited lake kawaguchi ko when we we did a mount fuji tour yeah and i think these are also from shiragawa ko so I forgot what these are called. I think there's a name for this, but you can only find these kind of dolls or figures in Shiragawa Go or in Gifu. And it's kind of like an omamori. They all mean something. So I got one for my partner, which is like um, more of like overall success. And for me, I picked the green one, which is more for health. So yeah. And then um, we also visited the the fish market in Tokyo. This what do you call it? Shukiji market. Yeah, and I got this. These are all just papers. They're so cute. So yeah. Okay, I already used this, but this I we visited the Nijo Castle in Kyoto, and they have this sticker sheet in there souvenir shop it's so pretty it's like painting you know also from the same shop i got this swashi special it's like gold again from the same shop from the nijo castle this is so pretty these are all bookmarks depicting um japan famous japanese okio art or scenes so like look at this this is mount fuji great wave of kanagawa nihonbashi hakone pass evening snow these are just so cute right so this is one set i wish i bought more of this more sticker shiragawa go just again for journaling and yeah, more Shiragawa Go. I just love Shiragawa Go, so I just like grab everything that I've seen. Sticker or bookmark. And then yeah, I just got this in one of in the fish market again, in one of the shops there. I also got these like <laughs> fun dice in the museum, in the Kanagawa Museum in the 21st century. So this is like you go once more you go i go so i'm gonna it's just fun call don't call it's kind of like a decision maker <laughs> okay next are pens or fountain pens so for this one i didn't really i didn't really i didn't really this is one of the categories that i didn't really like went crazy because i knew already what i wanted to get before visiting japan um i actually didn't buy a lot of pens here in europe because i knew i was gonna get them in japan and i i like um most of the my pens and my wishes are japanese brands so i knew i could get them in japan and the prices the price difference compared to europe to japan is insane like some of the pens are like 100 euro or more less i guess it's like all the taxes and shipping and just the market price of shops here so so these are kind of like my my the list of my pens i must have in my collection so a lot of like basic must have pens so like this one is uh my first platinum actually i've been wanting to get a platinum p776 so i'm glad i finally got it in japan this is in color green as you can see 
green and gold, the best combination. So this is an EF. It's the heart detail. Yeah, I can't wait to use this as just like an everyday writing pen. Um, another thing, um, I got this actually in Marizen Fort Floor. Marizen Fort Floor has a lot of pens and um, it was my favorite shop in Japan. <laughs> it was a stationery and pen in one floor and they had a lot of local pop-ups there when I was when I was when I visited and this was like the new year, after new year so there were a lot of deals this was actually on sale and i got this at a very good price so i'm very happy about this this purchase okay next one um let's move into the sailor bye i got this in etoya and i was just looking at the all the sailor pens and i saw this and like what is this i want this so i just like how it looks so yeah This is, I think, an EF, yeah. And it's so cute. Um, I'm not really a pink or a purple person, but I really love red. And I think this is like purple or pink, but because of the mix with the black, it feels like it's kind of reddish to me in some light. And I just love it. It's so pretty. So, yeah. It came with this set and the cartridge. go to another sailor um oh yeah so this one is the pro gear slim in mustard i think so i got this in marizen mall again fourth floor and the moment i saw this i knew i had to get this because whenever i look at shops they have they always have the they have almost all the colors of the Pro Gear Slim except this. I don't know if it's a limited edition or, or why. I have never seen this in a shop in Europe or it's already sold out. They only have one or two. I don't know why. Somebody tell me that this is limited edition or why this is not always on sale. They always have everything including the pink, the blue and stuff, the white, but they don't have this. So yeah, I love yellow. So I love yellow, red, and green. <laughs> um, this is so cute. This is in medium fine. And so cute. I also got this on a sale. I think it's like... It was very cheap. I only got this for almost like 100 euros. Which is insane. Because you'll probably get this like 190 or 200 euros here in, in Europe. And what we have here is another sailor course um so this is one of those cheaper sailor ones and this one it's really red i think this is like the four seasons one and i really like it it's so cute i love red and gold and just red <laughs> so yeah this is one of those yeah i have to get this then oh. okay this is not really a grail pen but this is i think if all the things i bought um this is on my main wish list like um i need this pen like now this is if i'm gonna spend money on a pen this is this is the pen so so this is the uh, pilot custom 823 in amber um I've been controlling myself not to to not buy this in Europe because it's almost 300 euros here and I got this cheaper in Japan not that much cheap as I would have wanted but it's still cheaper you know so it's so beautiful so this is in amber and this pen if you're not familiar with this or you've not read about it they call this the writer's pen I first saw this in, um, if you know the fantasy British writer, Neil Gaiman, he's one of my favorite writers. I met him three times and he signed my book three times. Um, this is his pen. This is his favorite pen and he would, he would always tweet about this. He used this, he has, he used this in all his book signings 
and I think he's had this pen for so long that yeah he would always just like like brag about this pen and many many fountain pen enthusiasts would always tell you that this is a must in your collection and it's really it's not a, it's not really the prettiest pen you know but it's it's a workhorse of a pen it's the writer's pen it's a go-to writer meaning you can this is the pen that you're supposed to write you can write with this all day so yeah it's but from i don't know why they call they call it, it's not, not a pretty pen it's actually very pretty to me i really love how it looks with the, the black and brown and gold details so yeah so happy i'm so happy i can't wait to use this you know i'm just so happy um this is um so i'm trying to build a fountain pen collection that and i want my collection to have to be more intentional it's not just okay i'm gonna get all the pretty sailors which everyone is which i i know it's so easy to get to get sucked into that like to that rabbit hole or something because they're so pretty right and there's so many of them so you just wanna i just need to buy this this is that but i want i want a collection of fountain pens that have a purpose like and i decided that i want my i want a collection of go-to writers meaning pens that are really um pens that you could use to write all day long and so in that category i'm gonna i'm thinking of buying a lamy 2000 next which is another of neil neil gaiman's favorite pen and then i also heard many good things from some friends actually mixed reviews but overall it's uh it's supposed to be like you just have to to get it it's like they said it's like the perfect engineered pen so i can't not try that right that's like that's like insane um praise and then um and then i'm also thinking of getting a pelican m600 or 800 um because they said it's this the lamy 2000 and the pelican um m Sovereign series are like really like workhorse go-to writer pens so thinking of building that collection okay the last pen i got this is actually a gift from my partner <laughs> a gift that i convinced him to get me basically i i i buried into his head that he need to get me this and he actually got me this so that's how you that's how you get a, a fountain pen so this is a grill pen and i've been wanting to get this and i'm glad he got me this so yeah this is um he got this in etoya for me so this is the namiki nippon art um and um this is actually namiki nippon art this is it i don't know what you call the collection i can't this is like maki -e, um art i think it's like a lacquer art that artisans do or something but it's supposed to be like this is the pen that's supposed to be like um that you value it for the the, the you you get it the, the the people that i know are collecting this are really like collector's items pens so this one is um mount fuji and dragon i was actually torn um i was trying to, i was trying to get this or the mount fuji and waves which has more of a blue accent but i really like green black the green and black with the dragon here so yeah this one is yeah an f it's so pretty i think the light is not really giving it any justice but yeah it's so pretty you can see the mount fuji here and the green dragon and it's kind of like the egos here i'm gonna show this and another video maybe and i can't wait to try this um yeah 
I'm so happy. This is one of the this is one of my wish list pens. I'm so happy I got this in Japan. And the other thing that made me convince my partner to give me this is because um these are so expensive in Europe. I think I've only seen this in several shops and they're selling this in Europe around 500 euro to 600 you know i think the the cheapest i've seen this is like 490 euro which is insane like for this so and i got this in, in japan it's actually not that crazy it's still not cheap but it's not as crazy as if you're buying this in europe so yeah i'm so excited to use this and just oh <laughs> and just admire it and yeah i like this this wooden thingy so there i told you i didn't go crazy with pens i just got all of this which is i got all the basic pens that i needed in my collection one of the things i i wish i got more was inks i completely forgot about the inks i i grabbed this when i was like buying pens like randomly and i wish i got more i just totally forgot about them because i actually the the top three things i forgot to buy that i completely forgot about are like inks wooden stamps and more stickers uh and i, I only bought three wooden stamps which is crazy because visiting japan i was thinking i'm gonna get i'm gonna come home with like 100 wooden stamps but i only got three that's insane right that's really a total failure and for for inks i only got this i got like these two sailors and then I got this very pretty Starry Night ink. And this is the Itoya um, Ginza, Ginza Gold Sepia Kobe ink that I got in, in the shop. So that's it. Um, I wish I gotten more, but again, um, lesson learned. <laughs> Buy everything next time or think about it. Um, so we're almost done. This is just the last bit of it. So... Actually, when I was in Japan, um, when I, I was reading um, this Japan trip, I really like read a lot of books and watch rewatch documentaries and videos and read a lot of things online. So whenever I travel, I try to read books written by people living in the country or classic books from the country you know so it's kind of like my main preparation when i travel to a different place at least i should read one book about the country and we're not talking about guidebooks i i try to read like a novel or anything else so in japan i just read a lot of japanese novels and a mix of guidebooks and then just like blogs and documentaries again and one of the things i i wanted to um that was really like um i've i discovered about the goshuin which are these um temples and shrine seals so yeah and then i also found out about of course that japan stations all have a stamp at least the main stations in every station you can find a stamp so in in Kinokuniya Shinjuku, I got this booklet. These are called Eki Stamp Book, and basically, um, it's there. It has a map of the railway and then Japan, and then uh, every page it's a blank page to stamp a station, and then you can put the place or memo here. So, like this one was in Mount Fuji, went to Kawaguchiko. And I got this stamp. It's a very pretty stamp, actually. And then this was in Nagano Station, Matsumoto. Um, this was in Narijuku, Kanazawa. Super pretty. And in Shiragawa Go. So, yeah. Um, this is cute because um, so whenever I visit a train station, I would bring my traveler's notebook and this and stamp it all there. Um, I think when I was posting about this on my Instagram, many people were messaging me that, oh wow, they they weren't aware or they weren't they weren't they didn't know that Japan stations have their own stamps. But 
and now if you're not familiar they do have their stamps you just have to find them or ask for it because some of them they're really visible the moment you enter the station you will see like there's a small booth and it's a sta stamp like station and then you can just stamp there but some of them they're really hidden or you have to ask the information center like i think um this one um in kawaguchi -ko, i had to ask a person i think the one doing the one in the information to oh do you have a stamp and then he he grabbed it under his desk so yeah most of um the thing with japan is like everyone is so nice everyone doing customer service jobs are they take their job very differently like it's it's a it's not just a job it's like a duty to them like it's really like even if they're having a shitty day they're not gonna show it in your face as compared to like i'm sorry compared to your like if if a customer service person is having a shitty day you will really feel it as a customer because the customer service culture here is just not the same as like where i'm from and in asia in many asian countries especially in japan where um they really value their jobs and the customer service there is really beyond like a job like everyone is so nice if you ask questions even if they if they don't know what to do they'll they'll be nice and they'll try to help you as much as they can so yeah so if you're lost you need anything in japan just ask anyone just ask a customer service they're so nice they're not gonna growl at you you know <laughs> and yeah so i got this station stamps actually i didn't use this because i was thinking of um i just got both for like souvenir so aside from my eki stamp i mentioned about like my goshuin i actually this is my first goshuin book i got this actually in in i think i got this in meiji shrine in harajuku yeah so i got this in meiji shrine and and then i was like mainly thinking i'm gonna use this and then i went to um Kyoto and visited and see I saw this in Yasaka Shrine. It's so beautiful. It's like it's made of like this hard metallic case and it's like red and it's just so Japan. So I had to get this. This was not cheap. This is own this is nearly four thousand yen. I mean which it's not crazy expensive, but it's still not cheap. So but it's very pretty and I had to get this. This is this became now my main Goshuin seal. So yeah, can't wait. This is, as you can see, this is the seal from um, Inari Shrine, you can see. So Goshuin, Goshuins are like stamp seals that people collect whenever they visit shrines and temples in Japan. And if you visit Japan, are there enough seals for you to collect yes more than enough kyoto alone has like thousands of temples and shrines so that's just one place and imagine going around japan you will need like a lot of goshuin if you actually want to do this so this is something i'm very happy to collect i actually i actually some of places you can just buy the seal like this when you go they'll give you this usually it's like 300 or 500 yen but but there's some places where in the priest or the shrine master or temple whatever is actually gonna do the seal in front of you like a calligraphy i actually this one was actually done this one in the yasaka i think Kyomizu temple in kyoto they actually did it in front of me and it's so nice so yeah this is one of the things see this is one of the best um souvenirs you can do when you visit japan so this is called a goshuin and you can just whenever you see a big shrine you can just ask the shops where you can go get goshuin and they'll point it to you um the only thing is um you can every shrine or temple will have their own design so so like you can end up buying this which i'm not really a fan of this design it's cute but it's i mean like look at this so it's just like you're gonna, probably gonna be stumble upon gonna be bumping into different designs per shops and be regretting you bought this 
So it's like me when I went to this, I got this and it was so nice. And then I went to another temple and I'm like, oh my, their Goshwin book designs are so nice. So I do know some people who have a lot and they, they just like buy what they want. But yeah, I'm I'm on a mission to return and complete this, at least this book of Goshwin. So yeah, I think, I think this is, that's it for now. I'm gonna... I'm gonna see if I've forgotten something, but yeah, that's a that's a, that's a long video. I'm so sorry. Um, but it looks a lot, but it's not really a lot if you understand me. Like, um, I um I think um when we were um when we were there, I was like. We had to deploy a separate bag because I was shopping a lot. And I really was telling myself, oh my gosh, I'm buying so many things. Um, I'm spending so much money and I'm over buying, I'm over shopping. And then so I really had to stop myself. That's why I ended up not buying a lot of inks, wooden stamps and stickers. So I really had to stop myself. I felt like I was really like over buying. And then when I, but now that I'm here and I'm looking at everything I purchased, I'm like, it's not really that much you know like i'm regretting not buying a lot of things because now i'm like you know what i need more wooden stamps i need more stickers but prop but yeah it's just like that i guess even if i bought many things i'm still gonna feel like i didn't buy a lot i guess it's just how it is <laughs> i i don't know but yeah that's just one of my realizations in this in this shopping trip um but overall i am i'm very happy that this did not turn out to be just a shopping trip i was thinking that bulk 80 percent of this trip i'm just gonna be shopping spending money on stationery but i think overall we actually did more traveling over shopping like I saw, I did a lot of things and activities. I went to a three hour calligraphy class. We saw many things. We walked a lot. We did not use taxi. We, we literally commuted and used all the metros and buses and walk. My feet were dead and I was so tired. I even, I even like, I was, I was super stressed in Tokyo because navigating Tokyo after you're living in a, in a pleasant European city is just, whoa um i mean i'm asian i grew up in asia so i know about chaos chaotic asian city but i haven't been in asia in so long that it's not it's a, another cultural shock to me like it's like reverse it's like it's like re culture shock like oh shit i'm like i'm back to seeing this again you know like i'm i i even at one point i was like oh i escaped this but now i'm back you know like it was like the stress of the commute especially rush hour in the tokyo metro was insane but it's an it's an experience and i'm glad i did it um commuting a lot and just seeing the country seeing many places i'm glad i saw a lot of like nagano kanazawa Narajuku, that area of the Nakasendo Trail, Matsumoto, and Shiragawa Go, and then Mount Fuji. I was even thinking we're just gonna do like the day trip to Hakone, but I said no, we have to see Mount Fuji longer. So we actually booked um, a very nice place with an onsen with a tub uh, facing Mount Fuji in, in Lake Kawaguchi and it's a splurge. It was just, it was the most expensive hotel we had but it was only for a day and it was like it was really nice. Um we were able to see Fuji in a very clear day and it was amazing. Yeah. Um oh I think um Purchase. I almost forgot about this. So, in the Kitamo near the my favorite area, Maru, Marunouchi, beside the, you know that mall where the post office and Tokyo Tourism Center are. Um, I think third floor. There's this good design store, which is I don't know if you're familiar with Japan Good Design Award. They just design every. They just award design award the every thing from home goods to stationery to clothing and so that shop has everything that won the award and 
that was a trap. Do not enter that shop. <laughs> I wanted to get many things there, but I ended up just getting this. Um, so basically, I've been looking for a, uh, like a calendar, a tariff calendar for 2023. Uh, I actually bought three of them for 2022. I ended up not using them because life happens. But so now I'm still, I was just like looking for one, at least one. Even if I don't use them, at least there's only one. And I saw this. This actually won the Good Design Award for 2022. It's Koyomi Daily 2020 Calendar. So the best thing about this is it has a... So basically, this is a... Um, this is a calligraphy practice kanji a day. So... So it has it comes with this pen that you will use to to do your to do your kanji and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. It's actually it's quite heavy. So yeah, this is what it looks like. And so January one, um you're supposed to to copy these and and you'll learn that this is Hannah which means flower and you're gonna with the pen here you're gonna you're gonna do it here so as I mentioned earlier we did a three hour Japanese calligraphy class with the with the master in Kyoto and we really enjoyed it it was so difficult but it was so fun I'm so interested in it and when I saw this I knew I was still fresh I knew I had to get this so and I um so these are the actual strokes that you follow to be able to create this because you're like I think if you didn't study calligraphy you're like so what I'm just gonna freestyle this but there's an actual um order on, for you to be able to do this and this is the guide so yeah and this is for Jan to Kaze case which me Kaze which means wind so yeah they have it in oh, until so it's 365 of kanji which is so nice and then I guess once you do it I can just tear this off and put this in my journal which is amazing so I knew I had to get this and I it's just so pretty, you know. And I and I'm so happy they, they even have this free pen. I'm so happy. Yeah, so um so yeah, that's it. I wish I wish I have more to show you, but I'm tired and that's a lot. And um if if I see something else that I missed, I'm gonna probably add it on my Instagram. So just follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is one word plans and travel. Literally plans A and B travel. So just add, if you have any questions, just comment below and anything, anything related to travel, stationery, or anything, just ask me or message me on my Instagram. So yeah, thank you so much. I know, oh my god, I'm sorry that if this like went over time but yeah i just wanted to show you everything so thanks again for watching and um i wish you you learned a thing or two or at least made you happy with my purchases because you know stationaries make us happy i know <laughs> so yeah again thank you and bye